Hey team, we're talking about the KK Multicopter uh, microcontroller today. And the reason I want to talk about this is because last night I had to go through trying to set this thing up and it was kind of a pain. So I want to share with you guys some of my notes, things I found out. Uh, here is a link from KK Multicopter that I will include. And it talks about uh, how to set up the board. This is kind of a, well I wouldn't say generic model, but their model. Um, and you can follow... I saw this one and thought, oh, okay, well, that doesn't look like my board at all. Maybe I get ripped off. But then I scrolled down and saw there's a blue board. So there's a black board, which is apparently the nicer board. And then there's a blue board, which is what I have, and it works great. So uh, what I want to do is go through um, how this works because, uh, for starters, there's these pins that, you know, there's the ailerometer, elevator, uh, throttle, and rudder. And I didn't know what all those things were. Throttle, obviously, but the rest, I had heard pitch roll, yeah, but not the other three, which sounds more like an airplane. Well, it is an airplane. But anyway, I'll show you how those work as well. Um, so we will go to um, it, what I was doing is I have, I actually have a, a hexacopter and a quadcopter. But what I'm finding out is I don't actually want the quadcopter setup because this will fly forward towards number one up here. Uh, what I wanted was I wanted it to fly forward this way towards one and two. So it changes the setup and, and they tell you here how to set everything up. So that's pretty cool. Same with the hexacopter, but I also found out that I'm going to do an H6 copter. At least this is what they call it. Um, so going from there, I'm going to show you how to hook up the... Uh, let's see the the receiver for and transmitter for your RC. Here we go. So here's my setup um, right here, and uh, I have everything set up um, from I've got the the receiver there set up to my board. Um, this isn't fastened down yet, but it will be. Um, and there is just some. This is my. In the meantime, I'm using. Oh, I can't even use it. In the meantime, I'm using this pink strip that I got from some electronics that I ordered. Anyway, that'll act as a vibration damper because everybody's saying that you probably need those. But anyway, this is the current setup, and uh, I'll show you how I set it up. So here is where I've got my um, aileron, elevator, rudder, and throttle plugged in. And here's where I've got my motors plugged in. So you saw on that image I just showed you, and I'll post that in the description, that there's, uh, this is, in this one, it's, uh, you can tell by where these little uh, meters are right here, that that's going to be engine one. So this is engine one, and then it's clockwise from there, two, three, four, but only on the X copter and H6 copter. The other ones have some, I shouldn't say only, but at least those two are counterclockwise. Some of the other ones are different. Anyway, so how you can set this up is, where's my little screwdriver? I don't remember. Right, but I think I put it away. Anyway, how this works is, and there's other videos on this that are going to be better than mine, but you turn to, to set the throttle, because initially when you plug this in, it's just the motor is going to beep at you, and the control is not going to be responsive at all. So what you have to do is turn the yaw all the way down to zero, which on this board, if you're looking at it this way, it's going to be all the way to the left. Rotate it um, left, or uh, counterclockwise, excuse me. Now, once you do that, then you can turn your um, transmitter on and plug in the battery, and you'll see this light on this board, mine's a blue light, but some of them are red. Anyway, they blink, it'll blink a, f a couple times and then you wait a second, it'll blink five times real fast. And then you'll hear two beeps from the motors. And at that point, because when you start this, when you plug everything in, this has to be full throttle. Then you'll get the five blinks, then you'll get the two beeps. And at that point, you immediately pull this down and then it'll beep a couple more times and you'll have one kind of solid beep and at that point you can throttle up or down and the throttle will work but you'll notice that um, the this does roll and pitch 
doesn't actually do anything. So what you need to do is, you know, you can unplug everything again, set the yaw over here back to the middle, straight up and down like it is. And then you can turn the receiver back on, plug the battery back in. And uh, at that point, it won't do anything. It won't even respond to the throttle. What you have to do is um, push it down to, uh, depending on the firmware you have flashed onto your board, you're gonna go um, either bottom left for a second or bottom right for a second. And when you do that, you'll see a blue light come on the board or, or whatever color your light is, you'll see the light come on. And once that's on, it'll stay on. And if it stays on, that means it's armed. And now you can throttle up and it'll work and you can move this around and it'll work. And in fact, what's kind of fun is you can tap the board. If, if it's not fastened down, you can tap the board and you'll, you'll hear and feel the different engines, you know, kind of compensating for thinking it's moving. Or if it's fastened down, you can just pick up the, the cop drink like this and you'll feel the motors take off. I recommend doing this with your blades off, uh, your propellers, excuse me, uh, because the last thing you want to do is break a propeller when you're thinking with this. I've, I've broken at least one propeller, and um, and I think that that's actually good because I haven't broken that many. Um, okay, so now what I want to cover is the firmware portion and what that looks like. Uh, let's see. I want to do that and so what I got is it's oops not Photoshop I want this application which I downloaded online you can search for it but it's the KK multicopter flash tool and that's going to bring up um, this tool that actually has a lot of good software in it already and what you can do with this is uh, the different softwares for the different copters because you have to set your copter type. If you have an X copter, if you have a quad copter or whatever, you have to set that here. Um, so what I have is I had this little USB plug um, that the plugged in. In fact, there's really only one way to plug it in, but I should have left that out. It's in a box. Uh, let me know if you guys need to see that. But um, you, I, I went ahead and set mine to USB and mine is the KK Plus. I, I honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know what mine is, but I saw a 5.5 on there somewhere, so I thought, I might as well try that, and it's probably talking about the voltage, but regardless, that worked, and maybe anyone you do works. I just don't want anybody to fry their board and get mad at me, um, so you're just gonna have to go nuts on that one. Anyway, um, this looks like it's not selectable, but the uh, all firmware types, um, see, now here's where you select your copter type. Um, I did X-copter. I have a, a hexcopter over there as well, which I did the, I did X6, which is odd because it's obviously called H6 over here, but whatever, I just figured, well, H6, it's probably, um, you know, the, the six propeller version of the X4. Anyway, um, so once you have that, then you can select what version of the software you want to go on there. I just did the top one because, oh, you know what? <laughs> well, I think it's the newest, but I just noticed that there's a 2.1 in here. There's a couple, but those are, you know what? Yeah, but there's a 4.7. I don't know how that works. I'll have to do more research on that, but regardless, this will at least get you going. You go to that, and you hit this run button after your board is plugged in via USB and you're going to need a USB cable. It's not an FTDI, it's another one, uh, but my KK Multicopter board that I got on Amazon actually came with a little USB cable. So make sure you get one with the USB cable. Um, and yeah, it was 20 bucks on Amazon, not that bad a deal. Anyway, now once you run this, it, you'll see all the output down here and it'll let you know, it, it's gonna take a minute, and it'll look like it's done maybe, but make sure you read the messages, because you'll see a bunch of hash marks and then it'll finish up. Uh, but after that's done, plug your board back in, do the stuff that I just told you about, so I did this in reverse, reverse order, so hopefully you watch this thing before you start doing anything. Um, I didn't, but it'll still work out when you finish it. Uh, once you're done, then I think you're ready to start flying. I'd say test your 
balancing, test your motors, make sure everything's right, and you know, do baby steps because the last thing you want to do is wreck your copter. Anyway, uh, there's also some other steps like making sure your ASCs uh, get powered down on low voltage, or not powered down, but you want at least an alarm or something so that your copter doesn't shut off and hit the deck. Anyway, uh, good luck.